welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing my one brand full face series and we are going to be doing a full face of makeup using all Catrice Cosmetics products. So if you're interested in seeing all of the products, how they perform on my face, my thoughts on the brand, and my thoughts on each product, then just keep on watching. So just because I was sent a lot of these products, most of these products, does not mean that I am any way obliged to say good things or bad things, obviously not bad things, about the products. They were just sent to me for consideration. Catrice is very supportive of my channel, my Instagram, love the brand as a whole. So I asked you guys on my community tabs on YouTube what brand you would like to see next for my full face one brand series and 50% of you I believe said Catrice. In terms of skin prep I have already gone ahead and cleansed my skin and moisturized my skin about half an hour ago so it's pretty supple and I was gonna say damp. My face is not damp. It's hydrated. That's the word that I was looking for. But you guys know me, I love primer. I love a hydrating primer on top of everything else. So we are going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer. Fresh it up, moisturizing with bamboo water. Primer it just looks like that on my hand. So it's like a watery gel consistency, not super creamy, not super thick. It's definitely like a gel. And I just use this to add extra hydration to my face. As I said, I've already cleansed and moisturized so this isn't something that I necessarily need but it is something that I want just a personal preference with my makeup. I love to be really really hydrated before I go in with any type of complexion products especially the one that we're going to be going in with is on the more full coverage side so I want to make sure we are really nice and primed. Love that, highly recommend, inexpensive if you have more dry skin and you want an added boost of hydration before you go in with your complexion products. We are ready to go in with our full coverage long wear foundation. This is the Catrice HD liquid cover foundation mattifying second skin effect and it's last claims to last up to 24 hours. Mine is in 002 porcelain beige. I do believe that they have shades lighter than this. This does oxidize on me like half a shade darker so I would recommend going a little lighter if you are going to pick up this guy but this is one of my favorite foundations. One of my favorite drugstore foundations for sure. It's super full coverage, feels fairly lightweight on the skin, definitely lasts a long time. Cover the cheeks first, which is usually what I do because I like focusing the coverage on my cheeks, which is where I have scarring and stuff. And then I kind of blend out the excess onto my forehead because I don't need as much coverage there. I am using my e.l.f. blending sponge in this just because I don't know if Catrice makes one. I don't think they do. There's such nice coverage and it sits so nicely on the skin. It works really, really well in combination with that primer. I love the coverage that this gives me and it just looks really nice on my skin and healthy without being too dry. Now I'm going to be going in with their concealer. This is actually my mom's favorite concealer ever. This is the Liquid Camo High Coverage Concealer. It lasts 12 hours, waterproof, and this guy is in the shade 001. So I would imagine that this is their latest shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal all of my spots as well as my under eyes and then we have a pressed powder translucent powder to set everything in place with and then I'm just going back in with the same elf beauty sponge and blending it all out I'm not the biggest fan of that concealer honestly it's a little bit dry for my skin especially paired with the more full coverage matte foundation so if I were you if you're debating between the two I would definitely go for the foundation over the concealer but if you have a more oily skin type, I think you'd really like the concealer as well. And it did turn out nicely on my complexion. I just needed to work with it a little bit more. Now I'm going to go in with a new powder to me. This is the Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof Transparent. Um, I've never tried this powder before. I picked it up specifically for this video because I needed a powder. This is what it looks like. So it is very light in color, translucent. So let's try it out. I have my favorite 
favorite powder brush ever. This is the Sephora Airbrush 55, but before we do the whole face powder, I am going to go in and do my under eyes to make sure that they are set in place. Pat down any creasing under the eyes, and then I'm going to take my sponge that we were using earlier and kind of press it into that powder and use it just like that to set the under eye just because it's a little more precise. Ooh, the powder looks nice and smoothing on the under eye. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it looks really, really nice and smooth. And now that that is done, I'm going back in with my Pro 55 and setting the face. I am actually incredibly impressed with this powder. As I said, this was my first time using it. I picked it up for this video and I'm incredibly impressed. Normally a pressed translucent powder does nothing for me, especially because I have dry skin. It just makes me look cakey and dry, but this looks incredible on my skin. It's very smoothing. It's kind of smoothed everything over. As I mentioned, the concealer looked a tad dry on my skin and this has really brought my skin back to life. I think it looks really nice under the eyes. Very pleasantly surprised with this. The Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder in Transparent. Really impressed with that. I will definitely keep using it and let you guys know what I think. Now we are going to move on to one of my favorite steps. This is bronzer. If you guys watched my last like testing new products at the drugstore video, you would have seen this in there. This is the newer Catrice Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer. Looks like this. And this one, they have two shades. This one is in C01 Golden Ecstasy, obviously the latest of the two. And this is an illuminizing bronzer. Super, super pretty. I've used it probably like four times since filming and have never had a bad experience. So we are going to go in with this all over the face. We are going to be very bronzed, very glowy today. I have a really pretty highlight from this collection as well. So we are going to really build up that glow, that radiance, that bronze. It's super, super pigmented. So I am dusting it off a little bit and I'm going to bronze up the sides of my cheekbones, forehead, nose, everything. We want to be super, super nice and bronzed. All right, now that we are all bronzed up, it is time to go in with highlight. I might tone down the bronzer a little bit more after. I did go over with some more of the Prime and Fine powder, but we're gonna do highlight and then blush and then we will reevaluate later on. So for highlights, I'm going in with another product from the Sungasm collection. This is the Face and Body Highlighter and this is in, there's no shade because this is the only highlight in the collection. This is so freaking gorgeous. It's such a beautiful shade. It's not too dark on me, which I'm so happy about because it's so stunning. I'm going to swirl it around in the highlight pan. I love how much product you get for the price too. It's insane. And just highlighting all the areas that I like to highlight, which is my nose, my cupid's bow. Just going ham with highlight in general. It's such a stunning formula like out of this world, so, so pretty. Oh, I do have another highlight palette trio that I could have used. This is their Luminize Highlight and Blush Glow Palette. This one's really lovely. Actually, I've used um, both of the highlights in there and then the blush. I will use the blush as a blush topper because the blush that we have is a matte blush, so we can just use that on top. Blush box, waterproof and sweatproof. Wow, all of their products, like so many of them are waterproof. I'd never noticed that before. And this is in the shade Glistening Pink. This is one of my favorite pink shades to wear. Taking my favorite Luxie 504 Large Angled Blush Brush. Apply this onto the cheekbones and then we will top it off with that pinky highlight. We are gonna be so glowy today. You guys know I love a good glow. So that is how the blush looks with just the blush box. Now we're taking this glistening pink highlight blush topper and just topping the blush off with that. Oh wow, that is really pretty, but we are super, super glowy. Okay, and blend it all together. 
Now I'm going to go in with brows to sculpt out the face. This is the Brow Pen Pro Super Proof, long lasting. Everything is so long lasting, gym and waterproof. Wow, and this is in 010 Ash Blonde. It is one of those pencils that has like a little tiny, tiny brush instead of a spoolie. And then you have a teardrop shape applicator there, similar to like Anastasia, the brow definer or the Benefit Goof Proof. I don't love my brows. I never really love how they turn out but as long as the consistency is good and the shade is good for me, then we are good. I'm not super picky with my brow products. Very, very creamy. That's a pretty good color for me. It's a little bit dark for being the lightest shade in my opinion, but it's fine. I usually go a little bit darker with my brows. Very, very creamy, which I prefer in a brow pencil product. I don't know how I feel about this brush tip spoolie situation. I am going to go in with a little bit of my regular spoolie just because that's what I'm used to and I feel like it gets through the hairs better and then disperses the product better. So far so good, I'm into those brows. Now I'm going to jump into lips before we do eyes and mascara just because I want any lower lash line shadow that I do to match my lips and not like clash with it. So I've been doing lips before eyes recently and liking it. So that is what we are going to do today. So the lipstick I picked, this one I purchased myself. This is the Plumping Gel Lipstick in 040. This is, as you guys probably know, my ideal pink. Reminded me a lot of Max Brave, which is my all-time favorite lipstick shade ever. Such a pretty color. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my lips and do a slight overline because that is what I like to do. So we will see how I like this. Love the pigment, love the consistency that it has a little bit of a slippy shine to it. I think that's super, super pretty. Feels super comfortable. I don't know why it's called plumping. I don't think there's any actual plumping agent in here. Oh, it has added hyaluronic acid, which is Kind of a nice addition to a traditional bullet lipstick so i really do like that i guess it's just plumping and that you get extra moisture added shine and that gives a plumping look but it doesn't actually do anything to plump your lips i can't remember if i did purchase any of these glosses myself i believe that they were all sent to me but i easily could have purchased one or two on my own so those are all of the shades that i have there of the generation plump and shine all right so the first one we have is sparkling coral this one is super pretty i've worn this a few times so that there beside the lipstick is sparkling coral super super pretty really nice pigment really nice shine so that there is rosy amber you can see it's just like a little bit more of a muted nude pink not any sparkle in there just the gloss bronze shade so this is shimmery goldstone and it is that one there so you can see it's like a deeper brown nude that is crystal rock and it is on the end there. Really love these, but today for this look with the lip, I'm going to go in with pink topaz. This gloss goes so well with this lip shade. I really like it. All right, so we do still have two steps left. We have mascara and eyeshadow. Um, you can probably tell that I am wearing lash extensions. I actually just got a fill yesterday, so they are pretty full and voluminous. So we aren't going to be doing any eyeshadow on the lid today, but I will do some shadow on the lower lash line just to show you the pigment, the formula, and I'm going to show you two of their palettes and do some swatches just so that you can get an idea of the formulas. So I have the Insta Bay eyeshadow palette here, and then I also have the Basic Bay eyeshadow palette here. So that there is the 12 pan Insta Bay palette. There we have some swatches from the Insta Bay palette. So the white shimmer there is Insta, the gold is FOMO, and then that red auburn is filter and then we have the 12 pan basic bay palette from the basic bay palette we have a light camel color called motd vivid gold called extra af and then a nice deep brown called mcm for the lower lash line i'm going to use the basic bay palette i'm going to mix this light camel color with the deeper camel up there and i'm just taking a tiny pro crease 24 
and I'm going to smoke that onto my lower lash line. So these are the shades Squad and MOTD. Just going to add a little bit of warm smokiness. And I am just using my Sephora Pro 18 detailing brush to pack this in. And then I'm just going back with those browns that I used and smudging the two together. All right, now all we have left is mascara. So these were two products that Catrice sent over to me specifically for this video. So they sent two options. We have the Pret A Volume Smoky Mascara in Waterproof. It says it's 18 hours wear. So this is going to be like your voluminous wand. Super, super pretty. I love a good voluminous mascara. But I think for today, for the lower lashes, because that's all we can do, I'm going to go in with the other one. I've heard really, really good things about this. This is the Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara, blackest false lashes. Brush looks very similar to two of my favorite mascaras, which are the Maybelline Lash Sensational and then the Benefit Roller Lash. Very similar wand, so. I'll probably like this. It's a shame that I can't try it on my upper lashes because I think I would really like it. This is usually the kind of wand that I like, but for now, we'll just give it a go on the lowers and it's looking really good so far. All right, with that, this is the completed look, one brand full face with Catrice Cosmetics. So three of the products that impressed me the most today that I didn't have prior experience with are the Power Power Plump Gel Lipstick. I think this is lovely, the color and the formula, so I definitely wanna try some more from this formula, maybe a nude or a different pink. You guys know me, I love nudes, I love pinks. The powder, mattifying powder, I was incredibly pleasantly surprised by. Um, I've never in my life found a pressed translucent powder like this that I like. And then the Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara, I'm so excited to use this on my upper lashes eventually, but I'm loving how it looks on my lower lashes. I've had it on for a while now. I actually stopped, ate dinner, and came back to film, and my mascara hasn't smudged at all. It looks incredible. So the lipstick, the powder, and the mascara, so impressed by, and these were all my first time using these guys. Love the eyeshadows, love the glosses, love the cheek products, and the foundation. Um, if there's one product that just doesn't work for me so well, I would have to say it is the Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I think my skin is just too dry for this. That is all that I have for you guys today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day. Bye.